When you think of glass art, you probably think of stained glass, leaded glass, and blown glass, right? Ever heard of architectural glass? Local artist Nancy Gong has been diving deep into architectural glass techniques. Over the past few months, she has worked with the Rochester Museum and Science Center to create a work of art that details the water cycle of our region. Here's a look. My name is Nancy Gong. I'm a glass artist. I've been working in glass since 1979. Right now my focus is on designing and creating one-of-a-kind pieces for architectural commissions. The work that I do is a wide range of artistic processes. I work in leaded glass, I work in etched glass, I create a lot of different textures in etched glass, I do a lot of hand painting on glass some fused glass. Those processes can be combined to create very unique, one-of-a-kind pieces. In this particular project, it's an educational project for the Rochester Museum and Science Center to tell the big picture story of stormwater management and what it is, why we should care. The museum didn't originally know what they were looking for. My input was we, we needed to show it within the context of our specific location so that people could make a personal connection to the artwork. The design focuses on the cycle of the water. It essentially shows the Genesee River watershed. There's a lot of layers of content in the design. It's a lengthy process to create a work of art like this. This particular design went through four versions. The full-size drawing had to be created in a graphic design program. That design program had to be converted over to a CAD file, and then it, with that, it went over to the water jet cutting. That was a very temperamental process due to the nature of the design and the, sh and the size of the pieces. The mouth-blown sheet glass is not flat, so because it's not flat, it posed a whole set of issues with water jet cutting that had to be addressed. Once the water jet cutting was, was completed, then the pieces of glass came back here to the studio, and the painted pieces would have to be fired into the kiln, some of them multiple times because of the way that they were painted. Then once all of the surface work was done, we moved into the lamination process. And the lamination process is another very particular process. Very temperamental, small window of time to um, do it properly, a very unforgiving process many of the processes that I worked in to create the work, from the sandblasting to the painting to most definitely the cutting of the work, um, were totally unforgiving processes, things that had to be done multiple times in order to have it look the way that I planned for it to look. The creation of a work of art like this is never easy. There are things that come up that are not necessarily planned for. And when they come up, you just kind of swallow and take a deep breath and say, okay, what do I need to do to keep this going? It all comes out okay in the end. For more information, visit nancygong.com. And to see this artwork, head over to the Rochester Museum and Science Center. For more information about them, visit rmsc.org.